Hello and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Pow Pow, where today we will be making a full English. What's a full English, mate? A full English, mate. I'm full English. Not me mum's from England or me dad's from England, so I'm half English, but me grand's from Wales, but me granddad's from Helsinki. No, I'm full English, born and bred, so we're going to make a full English breakfast. So the necessary ingredients for a good full English breakfast are as follows. Some sausages, some bacon, we're going to do a little fried tomato, we're going to do scrambled eggs, and we're going to do eggy bread with the bread in the eggs, as well as the scrambled eggs, so eggy bread. Eggy, eggy bread, bread, eggs. All right, a lovely ash brown, and then finishing it off with some baked beans. All right, so to make me ash brown, I need to first peel me potato. You want to peel away from your, I heard. I don't know why, it's not like I'm going to peel me thumb off. Cut out any impurities. Don't want them making your ash brown bitter. All right, let's make potatoes great again. I'm fucking knackered. Come on. I swear down, it's not supposed to be this hard. That's what she said? Some people don't call ash browns ash browns. They call them like potato roshdi or latke, lat latke. But I call it ash brown, so we're gonna make ash brown. All right, now I've got my potatoes all grated. The key is I gotta get all the moisture out. So easiest way to do that is grab a clean tea towel or dishcloth or whatever you wanna call this, like a napkin. And we're gonna bang this right in the middle, fold up the corners and squeeze out that moisture. Why do you squeeze out all the water? I actually don't know, it's just what the recipe said. All right, nice, dry, grated potato. Lovely. This, what looks like a dehydrated piss, can go down the sink now. All right, next up is a little bit of eggy bread and scrambled eggs. So in order to make eggs, I need to take the eggs out of the shell, I need to crack them, put them in a bowl and whisk them. So once I've done this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip me bread in to the eggs and fry them. So the bread that I got was actually quite artisanal, quite a good little artisanal bread from the local bakery. And what it does is it means it's just a little bit crunchier and a little bit more textured and it just makes for better eggy bread. How do you know when you're done whisking? You know when you know, and if you don't know, now you know. It's done. All right, eggy bread time. Got to get the bread and the eggs over to the frying pan now that it's hot to put the bread in the eggs, put the eggy bread on the pan, fry it, and make eggy bread. All right, let's go. So pretty simple. You just got to dunk the bread in the eggs. Little turn and then bang it into your hot pan. Bosh. All right, now we need to flip it over, but only if it's a little bit brown on the bottom. You don't want white bread being white once you've cooked it. White bread turns brown once you've cooked it. That's why people buy brown bread, I think. It just saves the cooking. Is it gonna be brown? Nope. All right, let's get some eating here. <laughs> All right, should be brown now. It's been in there about three minutes. Let's have a little look. Oh, look at that, lovely. So we'll give that another couple of minutes, get the other side brown so that this side matches the other side so that they're both brown, and then we'll do another one. But while we're doing that, I'm eating the pan to make the ash browns. All right, these look like they're cooked. Cooked, these can go on the plate. 
plate. Let's cook some more. Pan's already hot. Little bit of oil for me. Ash brown. Pan's hot. Eggs are here. Got me artisanal bread. Fell apart. That's what happens with artisanal bread. It falls apart sometimes. That's why you uh, get a loaf. Squeeze out that egg. I don't want to waste it. All right, got me artisanal bread in the pan. Hot pan. Done. Now, the ash brown pan is nice and hot, and I've got two ash browns worth of potato. So I'm just gonna bang this in and pack it in. Don't wanna burn me fingers like last time. And then I'm just gonna leave that to cook for about two minutes. While that's going, eggy bread's on. I'm happy with two slices each, not three, whatever. Got me ash brown on. Now I can start on me scrambled eggs. So I've got a relatively hot pan, and all I'm gonna do, and this is the key, is not overcook it, take the pan off, got the heat already, and just constantly be stirring the eggs. Back on, get some more heat in the pan, and then back off. We don't wanna add our salt and pepper just yet. We're gonna do that right at the very end, onto everything. All right, I've taken my eggs off because I've got them to where I want them. Now I'm just going to throw a little knob of butter, melt that down, mix it all in, and then I'm going to have me nice creamy scrambled eggs. While that's melting down, flip me eggy bread. Oh, that's lovely. Ash brown is looking nice on one side, obviously, because I only just threw it in the pan, but we've got to flip it, and hopefully it's golden brown on the other side. Lovely. Back on the heat for another two minutes. Eggy bread is perfect. I can plate that, and this is where we start to rush a little bit. Pan back on the heat, a little bit more oil. And then we're gonna throw our bacon, tomato, and sausages on the pan, all at the same time. Try not to burn yourself like I am doing now. While that's cooking down, I can open me tin of beans. Just gonna put them in a little pan and eat them up. You could use the microwave if you wanted to, as long as it's obviously not in a metal container, because you'll blow your house up. Now you just gotta wait, just cook it, wait, cook it, wait some more, plate it, eat it, done. What about the bacon? Bacon's coming mate, I'm just waiting for a pan, I've got no room in a pan. All right, beans are bubbling, give them a little stir, even out the heat. They're almost done, ash brown, should be brown on the bottom. Lovely, that can go on the plate. Tomatoes, done. Tomatoes, done. Sausages, almost done, but I've got my bacon to get on, so I'm gonna throw that on now. Uno, that's one in Spanish. Dos, that's two in Spanish. Three. Pan, ready, four, ash. Brown, let's do it. Spuds in. Pack that down and get it on the eat. Sausages looking around about done. Let's get them on the plate. Rest of the bacon can go on. Cuatro, that's four in Spanish. Cinco, that's five in Spanish. And then six, I don't know the Spanish for six. I think it says, mate. Who says, who says, who says it says, who says it's six, mate, you know what I mean? The, who says, the, the, who says, the, who says? The, the internet! Okay, Google, what's six in Spanish? On the website in Chanazonis.com, they say, Chanazonis says Spanish color with a domino. Each tile has numbers on it in Spanish and Spanish. All right, shut up now. Cease! Ah, you were wrong, mate! Cease! 
You know what I mean? Beans are burnt, no, don't care though. It's on the bottom of the thing. Get them on pan, get them on plate. Beans over the top, as always. I love cooking at other people's houses because you don't have to clean up the pots and I've burnt the beans to the bottom of this one. But you'll never know that because you'll never see it. Okay, second ash brown is done. That can go on the plate, not burnt at all. Bacon is almost done. Now it depends where you are as to when the bacon is done. Here in Canada and North America, they like it like door stops, solid. I, however, like my spaghetti overcooked, but my bacon slightly undercooked so that it's actually got some texture and some flavor left in it. So for me, this bacon is perfect. As you can see, this is the perfect full English breakfast. We've got eggy bread, beans, bacon, sausages, fried tomatoes, scrambled eggs, and an ash brown. Pat Pow, doesn't a full English have mushrooms in it? No, mate. Mushrooms are the work of the devil. Do not ever bring up mushrooms on this show ever again, because I ain't going to cook them, because they're fucking disgusting. OK, thank you for watching Cooking with Pow Pow, where today we have made a full English breakfast. Hey mate, there, uh, there are two plates over there. Do you think maybe at least this time I can get one? Absolutely, mate. You deserve it. You did some good work on that camera. So let's dig in and enjoy our full English breakfasts. Yeah.